From Washington, this is VOA News. Coming up, Korean Peninsula tensions plus the UN warning regarding Syrian refugees. Hello everyone, I'm Steve Norman. North Korean State Television broadcast a message on Tuesday telling tourists and enterprises to evacuate Seoul and South Korea for their own safety because of the risk of what it called nuclear war. Here in Washington, White House spokesperson Jay Carney dismissed the threat. The North Korean leadership would be wiser to focus on developing its economy and assisting the North Korean people who suffer under this kind of leadership that chooses uh, development of missile programs and, and nuclear weapons rather than the feeding of its own people. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon told reporters that tension on the Korean Peninsula has risen to a very dangerous level. If any small incident caused by miscalculation or misjudgment, it may create an uncontrollable uh, situation. That is why I have been urging the DPRK authorities to refrain from this provocative rhetorics. And I've been urging the countries concerned in and around the Korean Peninsula to exercise their influences to North Korea. North Korea has threatened to attack the South, the United States, and U.S. allies in the Asia-Pacific region in retaliation for the latest U.N. economic sanctions aimed at punishing Pyongyang for nuclear and missile tests in defiance of Security Council resolutions. Iran says it has opened two uranium mines and a yellow cake production plant. State media says the facilities can produce up to 60 tons of yellow cake each year. UN Security Council resolutions are demanding that Iran suspend all enrichment-related activities and allow UN inspectors to access its nuclear facilities. Al-Qaeda and Iraq leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi has posted a message on Islamist websites saying his group has been funding cells from Syria's al-Nusra front. Baghdadi's declaration came a day after an al-Nusra-style suicide car bomb attack and the heart of Damascus killed at least 15 people and wounded more than 100 others. UN Refugee Agency is saying the number of Syrians who are fleeing the conflict in neighboring countries could triple by the end of the year. Lisa Schlein is at the UNHC headquarters in Geneva. The UN Refugee Agency says the deteriorating situation inside Syria is causing an average of 8,000 people a day to flee into neighboring countries in fear of their lives. The agency's Syria Regional Refugee Coordinator, Panos Mumtsis says this massive outflow of people has boosted the number of refugees registered in Jordan, Lebanon, Turkey, and Iraq to 1.3 million. He notes this figure does not take into account those people who have not registered, so the actual number of refugees in these countries is much higher. Lisa Schlein for VOA News, Geneva. U.S. Treasury Secretary Jack Lew telling Europe it needs to adopt new policies to boost economic growth. In Berlin on Tuesday, he met with German fin Finance Minister Wolfgang Schäuble, who has staunchly advocated austerity measures in the Eurozone. Lew told reporters consumers' demand will be key to boosting economic fortunes in the zone. The driver for economic growth will be uh, consumer demand uh, and policies that would help to uh, encourage consumer demand in countries that have the capacity uh, would be uh, would be helpful. Schäuble said Germany trusts the U.S. government to know what's best for the American people and Germany will not advise Washington. In Washington, President Obama will unveil his proposed budget for 2014 on Wednesday. It would replace a temporary spending plan that went into effect on March 1st. It's a budget that doesn't spend beyond our means, and it's a budget that doesn't make harsh and unnecessary cuts that only serve to slow our economy. On the Senate floor Tuesday, Minority Leader Mitch McConnell said he's skeptical that the Obama administration is going far enough in cutting government spending. We hear it contains a tax hike upon tax hike upon tax hike 
And in fact, all of the deficit reduction I just mentioned would be derived from myriad tax increases rather than spending reductions. President Obama will host a dinner at the White House with several Republican senators on Wednesday night. They say it's in an effort to bridge differences between the two political parties over the U.S. federal budget. For more on these stories and the rest of the hour's news, check out our website at voanews.com.